Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to adjust your chain and just generally maintenance your Ryobi uh, 10 inch pole saw. So first thing you want to do is take off the cover. So take the Allen wrench that came with your pole saw and just unscrew that and you can take the cover off. Then what you want to do is go ahead and try and clean it off. So with the cover off, obviously it's a lot easier to maintenance and you know get all the you know, you know wood chips and things out. Your sprocket shouldn't be coming off like mine, so I need to get another retaining ring for mine to keep that on. So that should be staying on at all times uh, if you have your retaining ring. So you know, like I said, go ahead and clean it off the best you can. Make sure there's nothing stuck anywhere so the you know the chain can spin properly and freely. Then what you want to do is go ahead and take the chain off. Make sure It is directional, so make sure you note the direction of the chain and go ahead and clean off your bar as well. Um, you know, the the bar oil is distributed, you know, pretty often, so this is going to be kind of oily, and that way make, make sure that the bar and chain are lubed correctly while you're uh, using the pole saw. So what you want to do is this adjusting block is what creates the tension on the chain. So that's what we want to adjust to make your chain uh, more more tight and basically so it's not all loose. So with that Allen wrench on the other side, there's a part that you can use to adjust it. So if you turn it clockwise, that's going to bring the uh, adjusting block out to the right, and that's going to create the tension. So this is just another angle of it. So you put it in in this little screw hole here, and then you just turn. So like I said, clockwise will make the adjusting bar go to the right, and that will give you more tension on the bar and chain. So what you want to do is go ahead and probably uh, turn it counterclockwise to loosen it a little bit so you can line it up with your uh, bar. And then what you want to do is at that point is then to go clockwise and make it tight so there's tension. That way everything stays in place. So go ahead and get your, your chain lined up in your bar, put it on your sprocket there, and then get the bar uh, lined up with your adjusting block, that green slot in the middle. The adjusting slot, sorry, that's the green slot in the middle. And you won't have as much issue because my sprocket was moving all over the place, which it shouldn't be if you have your retaining ring that I need to get. So now you can see that the adjusting block is in the right hole there. And then just hold it and uh, screw your, your screw clockwise to push it out to the right, like I said. And that'll create the tension on the chain. And then it should stay in place and be all lined up. So make sure that the the chain is lined up inside the bar correctly. So I didn't notice this at the beginning. Um, so as you can see, the chain isn't quite lined up in the bar correctly. So with the magic of editing, there you go. Now it's lined up inside the bar correctly and you've got your tension correct. And so that's how it should look. Then all you need to do is just put on your uh, cover again. And that's basically it. That's all you need to do to adjust the chain and how to maintenance your pole saw. So if that this video is helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.